Hey, what's up guys? It's Mario back again with another YouTube video. Today I'm going to talk about GameStop, the ultimate short squeeze. And I'm happy to tell you that I was part of this move. I did invest in GameStop back in September. Uh, and I'm actually going to go over uh, a trade review day trade that I make. Uh, not only did I invest in GameStop in a long-term account, but I also day traded. I'm going to cover that. Now, I'm not going to show my long-term investment account. I think uh, I want to keep that a uh, little bit secret, but I will show my day trade because I love to day trade the same stocks I invest in my long-term account. And I'm going to explain all the fundamental analysis, the technical analysis that I did to be part of this one of the time or historic type of short squeeze. And I'm going to cover it all on this YouTube video. Don't forget to ask questions down below, guys, in the YouTube comments. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel down below. I'm also going to go over another stock that I'm looking at that I've already invested money that I think could be another short squeezer. Now, guys, these videos are for learning and entertainment purposes, so don't forget that. Let me share my screen and let's get started. All right, guys. So I want to cover everything that I did in terms of fundamental analysis as well as uh, technical analysis that allowed me not only to hold throughout uh, GameStop, all this freaking move, all this crazy uh, price section, but also day traded. It all had to do with the press release. Uh, and I want to go back all the way, all the way. Let's go back all the way to September. And this is where I first made my trade. And this was back in September 9, uh, September 17. I did do a low hanging fruit uh, trade, a low hanging fruit long day trade on a second day continuation off this move right here. And it was all based on the press release. Now, uh, let me show you actually my uh, my trade. Uh, this is again, September 17. I have, this is my trader view uh, trade. Again, it's a legitimate trade. I made $631. As you can see, low hanging fruit long, washout red or green. I uh, pretty much bought the, the wheat washout long, open, bought it, squeezed down, and I took some profits. Uh, but why did I decide to day trade this? Or why did I decide to invest in my long term account? It was all because of this press release. You see this GameStop now taking pre orders for Sony PlayStation 5 and Sony PlayStation 5 Digital on September 16th. That announcement was humongous, guys. Um, if, if you guys are not familiar with, uh, uh, with, with the, what happened with, uh, for example, Nintendo Switch, where there was a lack of supply because of the pandemic, um, that happened with Nintendo Switch. And my thoughts were like, look, GameStop, what's going to save GameStop is going to be PlayStation 5. The new cycle of PlayStation, the new cycle of systems, uh, PlayStation 5 and also Xbox, it's going to save it. So my thought process, you know what, this is going to be a huge move. Not only that, but also the next thing that I was looking at is uh, the, the technical side of it. Uh, so these are the fundamentals, the press release. Uh, these are the, fun, the, the technicals now. Uh, now, in terms of the technicals, there is a humongous short interest, you know, humongous short interest. Uh, the short flow uh, uh, as of December 31st, 2020 was over 260%. Per, uh, 60%. That is humongous. Humongous, humongous. There was more people short on this stock because a lot of large, large institutions felt that this stock is going to go bankrupt. GameStop is over. The pandemic has caused this, these uh, retail uh, brick and mortars to go and be done. And so everybody was against it. Uh, but my thought process was, look, there's money coming in on the shark. Obviously, the market likes these, uh, these news announcements. There's a new uh, new system coming in play, the PS5, the Xbox X. That's going to be the recovery that can really help GameStop make a move. So that's the reason now that I day traded on this day on September 17. Again, here is a day trade. I made $600, but I also added to my long-term investment account. Um, and I was able to hold all the way until now. And the way I was, the reason why I was able to hold because the fundamental analysis still held true, the trend was intact, um, and I, I actually was able to hold the core. Now, just so you guys know, I did take some profits along the way, and especially my long-term account, um, you know, and that's how I was able to hold it uh, to long-term because, you know, there were some spikes, you know, there were some spikes to 21 to, uh, let's say, the 40s, um, and I took profits. I took profits along the way. 
Um, and I also bought on dips, you know? So there were some dips, there were some spikes to like 14, uh, there were some spikes to like um, 21, and then there was pullbacks, I bought those dips, and all of it was because of the earnings reports, the numbers look good, and the narrative, the story behind it was amazing. Uh, just to kind of go over more of the story, guys, and um, especially these these uh, PFIs, uh, uh, PS5 pre-orders, uh, there was, especially during the, what do you call it, the, uh, uh, especially during the, uh, what do you call it, the, um, uh, the holidays, the Black Friday deals and, and Cyber Monday, there was people waiting outside the line on GameStop, you know, waiting to get this, get their hands on PS5. Everybody knows that. Everybody wants to have a PS5. Even I do, but I couldn't get one because uh, I was not willing to wait in line or sleep in bed waiting in line for this. So, uh, hey, that was just kind of telling me the narrative. Hey, the narrative is holding true. This is holding true. This could cause a humongous uh, short squeeze. And again, I kept, I kept my GameStop on hold. Um, so now uh, the other press release that I also like, I also read through it. GameStop reports 2020 holiday sell results. Uh, and these are the numbers. Look at this. GameStop, today reported worldwide uh, sales results uh, for nine-week holiday uh, ended, ended uh, January 22nd, 2021. 4.8% increase in comparable store sales and a 309 increase in e-commerce sales. This is also what saved uh, GameStop, the e-commerce sales. Uh, so that was huge. Again, all this information, again, fundamental analysis, all on their press releases. And I read it. And this is the difference between day traders and investors. They read, they do the knowledge, they do the fundamental analysis. Uh, so that was uh, very huge. But, and again, that was just based on the recent story. Again, I'm still holding throughout this whole, you know, this move. Um, but recently, this is where things got really, really crazy with GameStop. We had famous short sellers, famous short sellers, Citron, Citron Research, Citron Research, Research. Actually, these are the guys who took on Valiant. I don't know if you guys remember Valiant Pharmaceutical. Um, one of the uh, stocks that was heavily owned by a famous uh, activist investor, uh, they took on Valiant. Literally, they banked. They made over a billion dollars, I believe, on Valiant uh, short when they released a statement uh, saying that uh, Valiant was just pretty much uh, done. Uh, and that's what Citron Research, Citron Re Research does. They sent out you know, press releases and they're saying pretty much um, you know, they're negative uh, against a stock. And they actually pretty much did the same thing with GameStop because their fundamentals didn't look so good in terms of their earnings. Uh, but to me, what looked good is the narrative, the story behind it, the recovery play. Uh, and to me, that's what matters, but also the tentacles, you know? And to me, looking at this 260% short float uh, told me, you know what? there's definitely an opportunity to squeeze a lot of these institutional investors who are short bias because they're just too heavily shorted. Any good news, any good narrative behind GameStop is going to definitely squeeze them out. And that's exactly pretty much what happened. Uh, of course, what made it worse for a lot of these short sellers was actually Citron Research. He literally pretty much exposed himself. He exposed himself. Hey, you know, I uh, looked at what he said, you know, so uh, pretty much kind of going over this uh, article right here and, uh, you know, what happened pretty much, but pretty much Citron Research uh, has been battling out with GameStop bulls on Twitter, warning traders on Thursday that shares should tank to $20 while also claiming that too many people were attempting to hack the firm's Twitter account. Uh, so pretty much uh, a, a near 80% surge in GameStop prices uh, triggered another brief trading halt among excessive periods holiday on, on, on Friday. So Pretty much, uh, re Citron Research pretty much was short bias in it, but a lot of Twitters, a lot of Reddit users, of course, were uh, against this. Uh, again, the whole recovery play was was uh, was huge. Again, um, you know, we look into the more detail. In the last six months, brick and mortar video game retailers up eye popping 23,000, 2,300%, and its current price is above 106. Now trading uh, a one year price target among eight analysts. And again, the main, main reason was because these short, uh, short squeezers or these, you know, research, uh, Citron research firm uh, and person, people like Andrew left, uh, activist short sellers, they're pretty much got squeezed out. And a lot of it had to because, had to do because of Reddit users. 
you know, there was kind of like an attack on him, you know? So if you look at some of these uh, Reddit users, so pretty much, let me see this article. So in the battle between short seller of Citron research and an army of Reddit charged day traders, GameStop seemingly endlessly rallied to an all-time high has given stock bulls a win, uh, though with not any controversy. GameStop's 83% gain through Friday comes after a more than double the week before, and it marks the most volatile 10-day period on record. Data compiled by the Bloomberg show, the stock has halted at least four times in New York, trading on his way to record close. The stocks are 51% on Friday. And, uh, and again, at one point, video game retailer was the most actively traded U.S. company, market value about $200 million, data compiled by Bloomberg. Uh, and these are some of the Reddit users, uh, again, continue to pump up their bets with one, one user saying they re relied on it to pay their student loan. So again, it was just pretty much social media. The new type of age of investing was well, social media, Robinhood traders literally could group together and just freaking pump a stock and blow up all these large institutional investors, large institutional short sellers and blow them up. And that's pretty much what happened with Citron Research. Uh, so if you look at some of their, you know, posts, you know, uh, from Reddit, you know, just bought more, let's go, keep buying. They going to try to convince us that the, that, that was a squeeze, buy it. <laughs> uh, guys, please hold. I got to pay my student loans. So this stuff is real, guys. This stuff is, is kind of crazy. So pretty much overall, GameStop short sellers lost $1.6 in a single day as Reddit traders rebelled against them. Uh, so pretty much all the Reddit traders, all the social media, all the Robin Hooders went against it and bought those dips, you know, caring, they don't caring about any fundamental analysis or, or anything like that. Uh, so that's pretty much what happened, guys. Uh, that's why we have this humongous, massive uh, short float or short squeeze. And I was happily part of it. I was one of the guys who bought early. And again, I did trade, take uh, profits along the way and bought dips. Uh, and I but always held the core, guys. I always held the core. Um, and again, being a long-term investor, this is the, the benefits about being a long-term investor, guys, is you're being able to hold uh, long term to take advantage of this humongous, humongous move. So uh, that was again one in a history in the making. Uh, you know, I'm not going to review how much I made on GameStop, um, but uh, it was really good, uh, and I'm happy that I was part of it. Now, in terms of uh, a GameStop, is it going to continue to go or is it over? Um, that's a really good question. Uh, right now, to me, this looks like a blow off top. Uh, now it looks like it's, it's bouncing off. Every it, it recovers the volume weight of its price. This squeeze keep keep going on, guys. This squeeze keep, keep this uh, short squeeze can keep going on. So it's really really hard to predict it. I've been taking profits. I still hold a very very small position in GameStop. I'm you know kind of yoloing it again. It's a very 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 small position. I definitely do not encourage nobody to buy at these levels. Uh, again, I've been taking profits along the way. That's how I do it. And that's how we've been able to hold for such a long time since September. Now, just to kind of go over, there's a new play, a new stock that may also have a crazy short squeeze, and that's AMC. Now, AMC is, is what I call, what I think is called the ultimate uh, COVID recovery play. Uh, if the Biden administration uh, vaccine recovery plan works, AMC is going to be one of the companies, AMC Theater is going to be one of the companies going to benefit. And the reason why I'm buying is because of this fundamental press release. AMC raises $917 million of fresh investment capital since mid-December 2020. And this is the money they needed to survive and avoid bankruptcy, guys. I highly, highly recommend every one of you guys to read this article. I, I did buy uh, AMC stock for long-term investment. Uh, it is a small percentage of my portfolio. I do own a diversified portfolio. So again, guys, it's all about risk management. And I'm going to repeat this again, guys. I am, uh, these videos are for learning and entertainment purposes. I am not a financial advisor at all. So it's always, always keep that in mind. Do your own research and manage your own risk. Okay, guys? I just wanted to quickly manage that. I mentioned that. So that is pretty much it, guys. Uh, again, I did buy AMC because I do believe there could be an opportunity for a short squeeze. Um, hope you guys learned something from this video, from uh, my, my, my trade analysis and how I played GameStop. Again, don't forget to smash that like button, ask questions down below in the YouTube comments. 
uh, and subscribe to the channel. You guys will hear from me soon. Take care, guys.